How's everyone? In this video I want to teach you how to connect a gamepad like these to our PC via Bluetooth. First of all I have to make two things clear. The first is that this method works exclusively both on Windows 10, like in Windows 8 and 8.1. And the second is that if for some reason your computer your PC or computer does not have Bluetooth. You can get that little adapter. How can you appreciate a moment that I focus? In these avatars, Bluetooth can get them out there between $5 approximately. And one of the things that I am going to recommend is that it has Bluetooth for point zero. The connection is quite easy just plug in. Wait for the drivers to be installed and nothing else. And then and then finally. I am very grateful to the people who who have supported me. Well, this video will be very useful for you. With nothing more to say I begin. In my case then, my PC doesn't have YouTube. Well, that's why I showed you the adapter. Well I'm going to show you how it connects. We go in the beginning part. In this case, with Windows 8.1. A. It will load this type of home screen. In case you have Windows 1.0, you go into Windows Settings. It will appear like this. We go to the part where it says PC and Devices. In the case of Dell Win. In the case of Windows 1.0, you look for the part where it says Network and Connectivity. Or the other. It would be better that they give you the thing to look for and search like this, Bluetooth. Wait a minute. In case you don't know, so, you look there Bluetooth. When you are here, hey I'm going to explain, in my case I am going to disconnect it, well, so that you can see how the process is. This works with any gamepad that has Bluetooth. Or things like that. Excuse me here. For you connect it you have to do the following. You have to hold down these two buttons. The home button and the X. Or well, the one that is here that is in this. Or if not try other buttons. And then we will start blinking fast. Wait a moment for it to appear. Our device. In this case, the gamepad will appear. Let's give it pair. We wait for M to start connecting. It is normal that it usually takes time. Minus one in this case it already started to proceed. To connect with the device, it is normal that suddenly it lingers around a few minutes. There as you can in the progress bar. Well, in my case it appears with Windows 8 and 8.1. In case you have Windows 10 the connection can be instantly. We wait and. And finally what we are going to do. It is already calibrating and rehearsing. Well, once paired, we're completely gone, in my case, well. Control panel now. What they have to do next, is that you enter there, in the part where it says, this team. We go to the part where it says control panel, and we are going to look. Game. Set up us game controllers on. And then in this case Bluetooth will appear. Gamepad you have to give advanced options. Oh no properties. And then in this case. You start to calibrate and all that. And now you start to do the calibration. As you can see. 
Eh, that the one he bought the second center point. Well, we look at it. And you already do the said calibration. In my case, there is no need. It's just so. So that you understand that the control is already in working order. And finally, we are going to rehearse a game. Which in my case is Halo. As you can see, it's starting to work. Let's start a game alone. And so for you to see. It is likely that some buttons it doesn't work well for them, and that's quite normal so. But what in itself? You have to enter the game settings. That the truth is easy. You enter the configuration in command because that will depend on the game. And you already configure it and everything. And this is all that I wanted to show you. If any reason this video helped you let me know. Leave me a like, subscribe, activate the bell and all. And that yes if some reason does not serve them. I recommend that you look for the video of how it. In the link of the description I made this clear. How to connect it directly via us. And then nothing. See you next time.